What is saturation? It's not what you think. So, I made a video a while ago about what difference it makes if you EQ before saturation or EQ after saturation. And I was surprised at the result that it didn't make any difference at all. Go watch the video now if you're curious. The demonstration is very clear. I've put a link in the description below. Don't forget to come back. <laughs> you're back. OK, let me continue. As I said, I was surprised by this result, and I commented in the video that maybe with other plugins or other settings, there would be more of a difference between EQ before saturation and EQ after saturation. But in other videos that you can find on YouTube, there's a contrast, and the position of the EQ actually does affect the sound. Saturation. I've used that word five times already, and at the heart of the issue is the precise meaning of this word. In common pro audio usage, saturation is mostly used to mean the same as harmonic enhancement, warmth, or mild distortion. But that isn't strictly correct. Now this is saturation. <laughs> I've soaked the sponge in water so much so that it can't hold any more. It's saturated. Saturated with water. <laughs> Now, there's a place in audio where saturation does genuinely occur, and it's not a metaphor for anything, just not with water. And that is in a transformer, or an iron cord inductor. An inductor is a coil of wire that can be used to restrict high frequencies, or in a different orientation, it can head off low frequencies to ground. It works more efficiently if the coil is wrapped around an iron core, or it could be any material capable of being magnetised. A transformer is similar. Two coils are wrapped around an iron core, and signals can pass between them without any direct conduction. The thing is that you can only magnetise the iron so much before it can't be magnetised anymore. It's saturated, saturated with magnetism, and that causes distortion. The same happens in an analogue tape recorder. You can magnetise the tape so strongly that it can't be magnetised anymore, and it's saturated. The key to saturation is that it affects the tips of the waveform. It places a limit on how high and how low the waveform can go. In effect, the tips of the waveform are lost, and this causes distortion. Similar to clipping, but generally subjectively milder. This is key. The tips of the waveform are lost, and this generates harmonics additional frequencies that were not present in the original signal. Now, there's another way to create harmonics, and that is to bend the transfer function so that the output is not a linear relation to input. That sounds complicated, but if I say it's a bit like the way a funfair mirror works with light, hopefully you'll get the picture without too much stress. Harmonic enhancement does just that. It enhances the harmonics in the signal, or, more precisely, it creates harmonics that weren't there before. Now, pay attention. <laughs> nothing is lost. In this kind of harmonic enhancement, harmonics are added and nothing is lost. So this is something different to saturation. <laughs> oh dear. We've been using the word saturation too loosely for too long. Saturation does enhance harmonics, but harmonic enhancement is not necessarily saturation. Saturation causes a loss in the signal, a loss of the extreme tips of the waveforms. Harmonic enhancement through a bendy transfer function causes no loss other than a loss of fidelity to the original. So this is why my demonstration failed, if failed is the right word, because a null result in an experiment still teaches us something. The saturation plugin I used, the SSL X saturator, with the settings I used, does not cause saturation. It merely adds harmonics. This is my hypothesis. With pure harmonic enhancement and no saturation, it makes no difference, or perhaps very little difference, if the EQ is before or after harmonic enhancement. With saturation, then because saturation causes a loss of the extreme tips of the waveform, it does make a difference where the EQ is placed. Now, Hopefully I can devise a test that will prove or disprove my hypothesis. Or better still, try it out with your own plugins. Possibly some of your plugins create genuine saturation. Possibly some, even though they call themselves saturators, do not. Let me know what you find out. One more thing. 
I don't think I'm going to use the term saturation in future unless I'm sure there's actual saturation going on. <laughs> See you soon.